Okay, in this example, we're going to be looking at how to complete the square. We're going to start off with basic questions and then in later examples, we'll explore more challenging ones. So we have two quadratic expressions that we need to express in the form x plus a squared plus b, where a and b are rational numbers. A rational number simply means that it can be expressed as a fraction. So in part a, we have x squared minus 6x plus 4. First of all, I'd like to deal with the x squared minus 6x part. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to have a bracket that has x minus 3 squared. In case you're not too familiar with completing the square, we'll have a look at why that is. Let's expand out x minus 3 squared. If you're not comfortable doing that in your head, we could write it as x minus 3 multiplied by itself. So if we expand these brackets, we get x times x, which is x squared. We get x times minus 3, that would be minus 3x. But then we'd also get another x times minus 3, which would give us minus 6x. And then we'd have minus 3 times minus 3, which gives us positive 9. To get the middle term, minus 6x, we could do x times minus 3 and then double it because there were two terms the same inside these brackets when we expanded them. And that fact is key to completing the square. So back to the question we're doing, we have x minus 3 squared. That gets us our x squared minus 6x. That's this bit here. But when we expand out x minus 3 squared, we get an extra 9 that's not part of what we want. So to compensate from that, I'm going to subtract 9. And then in the question, we'll add on the extra 4 that we had at the end. Finally, all we have to do is simplify. So we'll leave x minus 3 squared. Minus 9 plus 4 is minus 5. Let's apply the same method to part b. We have y squared plus 5y minus 6. We have y. And then the second term is half of the middle term. So half of 5 is 5 over 2. I find with this second term here, much easier to have it as a fraction than a decimal because we can square it in our head. Recall in the last example, we had an extra plus 9. This time, if we squared the second term, we'd get 25 over 4. But remember, we don't want that bit, so we're going to subtract it. And then at the end, we've got minus 6. But instead of writing 6 here, I'm going to write 6 as 24 over 4. The reason I've done that is so that when I'm tidying up on the next line, so I've got y plus 5 over 2 squared, both of these fractions have the same denominator, so it's much easier to simplify. We've got minus 25 over 4, minus 24 over 4 gives us minus 49 over 4. OK, here's a couple of similar problems for you to have a go at for yourself. Pause the video and then come back and check your solution against mine. Welcome back, here's my solution. If you got both parts right, move on to the next part of the lesson, otherwise I'll go through my answers now. Okay, in part A we have x squared plus 4x plus 11. Inside our brackets we want x and then we want half of the middle term, so x plus 2, all squared. That would give us x squared plus 4x plus 4. We don't want the extra 4, so we'll subtract it. And then don't forget the 11 on the end. Simplifying that gives us x plus 2 squared plus 7. In part b, we have y squared minus 3y plus 8. In our brackets, we have y. Half of negative 3 is negative 3 over 2, all squared. If we do negative 3 over 2 squared, that gets us positive 9 over 4. That's the extra bit we don't want, so we subtract 9 over 4. And then we've got 8 on the end, which we can write as 32 over 4. Simplifying gives us y minus 3 over 2 squared plus 23 over 4. 